if you change the initial conditions by a little bit, right, a little bit, the solution diverges. Further down the line, it goes, it goes crazy. crazy. It's not just a little bit different later right, on down the exactly. line. Exactly. It, it is, is exponentially, exponentially different. Exponentially different. Correct. Wow. With the with the smallest increment of distance. Right. So I'll say, I'll move you in this direction in this model, and then in a slightly different direction than the other model, it goes chaotic. That's what we mean by chaos. Right. Okay. Okay. It's mathematically yeah. defined. Okay. Okay. So now there's something called the restricted three body problem. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. All the restricted right. three body problem? Never heard. You have, give me your two, your two things Here's back. The okay. Two planets. You got that. Okay. Two bodies. You got your two bodies. Now the third body is little. Here we're talking about how tiny lawful differences in a system can balloon into outcomes you could never foresee line by line. That's not magic, that's dynamics. When you add just one more gravitational partner to an otherwise tidy duo, the future is still determined by the same equations, yet your ability to predict it collapses past a certain horizon. The key is to understand that chaos is not the absence of rules. It's what happens when rules amplify small uncertainties. Start with a real example. Weather. The atmosphere obeys the Navier-Stokes equations, but the practical forecast horizon is about a week and a half. Beyond that, even perfect models drift apart because the smallest measurement error, humidity here, temperature there, 